Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the greenhouse. First time I showed you how to do this greenhouse. And this is available as a kit on my storefront. I'll leave the link below. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the shelving inside. Okay, so your shelving, if you have this as part of your kit, then there's two sides to it. There's a side that looks like wood, and then there's a side that um, is the back of it that's just the plain MDF. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some glue. You can either use your wood glue or you can use um, some super glue. However, super glue does harden pretty quickly. So you have very minimum work time if you use the super glue. And if you're anything like my super glue, it tends to clog up a lot. So these tweezers have officially been my unclogging tweezers. All right, so then you have these and they look like um, little X's with a board at the top and a board at the bottom. You're gonna go ahead and add some glue to that. And then if too much comes out, just take your other one and just kind of dab it. And then you can blot it on like a napkin or something. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right even with the first set of lines. And then I'm gonna go with the second set of lines the same way. Too much crazy, or I put too much of that off, it doesn't stick. Let me add a little bit more glue. Just like that. Okay, repeat that process here and here. Okay, so then you should have something that looks like a bench. And it should sit like that. That's gonna allow you to put your plants and stuff. Okay, so the plants aren't included in the kit, but that's kind of how it would hold the plants. These are just ones I made. Now, the next step is to do the same exact thing for the other shelves. You're going to put one here, one here, and one here. Okay, once you have all three of your stands with the legs on it, then you just want to take the inside of your greenhouse and you want to set them in there. You have to slide them in straight so that they fit because it's a snug fit. You can't go in like crooked or it won't work. If you want to glue them in place, you can glue them in place. And then this is just an extra one that you can do for in the middle. If you want to have one in the middle, you can do that. Okay. Now, the next step in this greenhouse is to add on the add-ons if you want. And that is doing the flower box. Which would go directly underneath of the windows. Now this one I've already painted a little bit. And I'm just going to glue that directly under that window. Now to put the flower boxes together, you would just glue the back, the middle, which has the opening, and then sandwich them together. You also have this frame option that you can put underneath 
of every single one if you don't want to use the flower box. And then that would go around and get glued on all of it, just as the edging. And you would do the same thing with that and you would just glue it. And the best way to make sure they're all in line is to take a scrap piece of wood and just line it up on the bottom and then glue it. That way they all have the same height. So for instance, I'm not going to use crazy glue for this because I want it to be able to move around a little bit. You want to use, use a tiny bit of glue and that's like too much so what you want to do is after you get it in the corner just kind of blot it where you need it to go and wipe off the excess because you don't want to sandwich this together onto the the wood and have it really squirting out all over the place so once you do that then you want to go ahead and line it up with the window where you want it to go and then press it in place and then remove your block and move on to the next one. Repeat that process all the way around if you've added this option. Okay, so that's what it would look like if you chose to add this option versus having it plain. It just adds a little bit more detail to it. And again, you can do the flower box as well. Or you can just have it with the little box at the bottom to just kind of have the framing edge around it completely up to you I mean you could do both but then you're gonna have to make it a little bit lower and I just don't think that looks right so that's just an added feature that you can do and there it is with the inside Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. If you have anything you would like to see me design or make, um, put a shout out in the bottom in the comments and I'll consider it. Got lots and lots of stuff coming for you guys with this um, laser designing I've been doing. So it should be fun. 